First person shooter games are the type of game that you play either casually or competitively, and the difference between the kind of game you play for those two different moods is vast. If you're in it to master the game enough to outshine almost anyone else with your skills, then you have to put in a lot of time and effort. Unfortunately, with high skill games, you need to learn a lot, which means as a new player, the barrier for entry is high enough to turn people off the experience altogether. But if you stick around and have fun with different strategies and the skills you master, these games can be more fun than any other genre of video game. Although from the outside, Halo Infinite doesn't look like it takes that much skill to be good at, the skill requirement for ranks beyond silver climbs up fast. The thing with Halo is that it's a bit different from modern FPS shooters that everyone's used to now. The first thing to master when playing Halo is movement. You gotta think fast when peeking because mindless shooting doesn't get you that far. Understanding the mechanics is fundamental here, but even if you master everything, there's still some RNG involved that you have to predict while playing the game. The best players in Halo don't just have good aim, they have years of experience and skills that they've consistently polished. A combination of smaller than average hitboxes, fast movement, and a high health pool means that out of all the Battle Royale games, Apex Legends is considered the hardest. You have to be consistent with your aim and learn the recoil for guns through constant practice. And besides aim and movement, there are other factors, one of which is just good game sense. In Apex, knowing when to attack another group is key, and identifying points to defend all takes more skill than the average Battle Royale game. Just like Halo Infinite, movement is a skill that many people overlook, but is essential here in Apex. And with so many things to keep in mind, it's no surprise that people consider this game one of the highest skilled FPS games out there. In simple terms, Valorant is essentially a combination of hero shooters like Overwatch and the gun mechanics of Counter-Strike. Valorant took the world by storm, and that's because it's deceptively simple and fun. But as the player base increased, people learned that there is so much more to this game than just selecting a class and shooting enemies. You have to have a deep knowledge of the maps and what characters perform best. Beyond that, practicing every agent is a must and is the only way to constantly evolve your skill. The element of teamwork and managing your resources at the start of every round is vital and is often the difference between victory and defeat. Rainbow Six Siege is one of the more widely recognized skill-based games because of some of the mechanics in gameplay. The standout mechanic being, of course, teamwork, which means you have to carefully coordinate your actions with your teammates while effectively communicating and adapting to changing situations. The intricacies of different operators and understanding how to utilize their abilities effectively is also crucial and requires a lot of time to be invested. There's also the fact of the matter that breaching walls to create lines of sight and manipulating the environment can gain you advantages all over the maps. Understanding how to leverage that destructibility requires skill and creativity, and it's unheard of in most casual first-person shooters. Rust is a first-person survival shooter game that requires a lot of time investment to get to the first-person shooting part. You're stranded on an island with a bunch of other players and your goal is to survive the environment and other people while gathering resources and building your base. It's tough, but once you graduate from bows to revolvers, the game shows just how difficult the gunplay is. There's a lot of recoil for good weapons and controlling it requires hours of practice. If you do manage to get a gun, you can just as easily lose it if someone else sneaks up behind you. Beyond just being cautious of your surroundings, there's so much strategy involved with every move you make in combat that you can easily overthink a situation and lose that fight. Escape from Tarkov requires research before a new player can even begin to understand the goal of the game. There's so many ammo types and just as many points of interest on the map to find the specific loot that'll give you that edge you need over the one you're competing with. Most of the time, fighting with other players is strategic in that you pick your fights and find an advantage in your location instead of just relying on your aim. You have to spend a tremendous amount of time in this game to even begin learning. That. That's the only way to get better though. Keep playing till you eventually memorize the map and you're able to execute the best strategy strategy for your extraction. Counter-Strike has been a staple of the FPS genre since its inception, and what started with a mod for Half-Life grew into its own competitive shooter that is now one of the most played games on Steam. Counter-Strike 2 being the latest addition to the Counter-Strike family, and despite having the same maps and weapons as its predecessor, CSGO, there's still a lot to learn for new players. Most Counter-Strike 2 players have been playing and polishing their skills for years now. Every new map has its own grenade lineup to learn, and every weapon has its own recoil pattern to understand. You have to calculate exactly what time to peak and slowly over time elevate your game sense just to escape the bottom tier of players. The skill and aim as well as the knowledge of every other aspect makes Counter-Strike 2 one of the highest skill FPS shooters out there. And that's our list. If you guys want more lists like these, make sure you check out thegamer.com.